Hey Starlings, how's it going? I know it's been a while, but in today's video, I'm going to be doing a Hot Topic clothing haul. Yay! I do have a lot that I need to go through. Honestly, most of my clothes are graphic tees, and guess what? It's no surprise, they're all black. Most of them. I'm going to go right into it. What I'm wearing right now is a shoulderless crop top. This is what it looks like. I think it's very cute. Pretty comfy too. It zips from the front. It can be worn casually or dressed down. I think it's good for, I would say spring and fall season. Next, I have on this black velvet material blouse, I would say. It has this lace design going on around the neckline. I think it's very cute. It would look really cute with skirts or anything really. It's very versatile or is it versatile? Is that how it's pronounced? It has a little bit of a stretch blouse. It has laced sleeves, it's like a floral design lace. And at the front, it has this crisscross string situation going on. You can tie it here at the bottom. This would look really nice in jeans. You can also wear skirts. You can pretty much rock anything with it. It's feminine, also comfortable. It does have a bit of stretch as well. This Attack on Titan graphic t-shirt, Shingeki no Kyojin, which is Attack on Titan. It's got Kasa, Eren, and Armin. And at the back, it has all the district names. It's very comfortable. This is a size extra small, just for your reference. I love Attack on Titan. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure t-shirt. It's from part five. It's got Fugo, it's got Mista, Giorno, Bucarati, Narancha, and at the bottom it's got a Bacchio. Vento Oro. I think it's really cool. A Kiki Slivery Service graphic t-shirt. Isn't it cute? She's just standing there with her little brown bag, possibly a delivery. I like the way it looks. This is a size small, so it's a bit on the baggier side. Death Note t-shirt. It's a red tie-dye, it's red and black, and we've got Misa Amane. This looks like an angel wing, and then this is like some sort of heart with, I guess, some sort of gold lacing design. It's a size small. Pochita, he's such a BB. I've got some more Chainsaw Man shirts that I'd like to show you. Attack on Titan Mikasa shirt. It's manga style. Isn't it cool? That's my girl. It's very comfortable. Sonic the Hedgehog shirt. It's got all the characters here. It's got Sonic, Tails, Amy, Knuckles, and Rouge back. This shirt is so cute. I like it. We love to see it. All the characters. This is also a size small, a Shenron shirt. Honestly, this is the only Dragon Ball shirt that I have. I do want to get more in the future. Black and white, and I think it looks really cool. Also, I think it was the last size small in the store, so I had to get it. It was meant to be. I have on this Kirby shirt. He's sleeping with his little sleeping hat. Catching all the Z's. He's eepy. It's so cute, I had to get it. And look at that, there's bubbles here. This is definitely me, always eepy. What do you guys think of it? I have on this demon woman looking ahead. And if you look closely, is she crying tears of blood? What is that? This looks like some sort of thorny something. And there's a butterfly here, a centipede wrapped around her neck, gross. And another one, and another one. So it's got one, two, three centipedes. I hate bugs, but honestly, this shirt is awesome and I love it. Next, I have on this, what appears to be a demon woman. It's got like a punk rock style going on. It says here, Psycho, and then there's stars, a couple of bats here, XOXO, smiley with X eyes, hearts, scribbles, skate or die. Is that like an astronaut? I don't know. A heart with wings, a skull with X eyes. It says, I love you, but it's crossed out. And it says hate on top. Then they X'd out the heart, skull head with crossbones. We have a little checkered design here. And it says broken. And then there's like a broken heart here. And she's wearing a bracelet and a shirt that says your dad. Shorts and stockings with her striped sleeves. This is so cute. It was love at first sight, so I had to get it. You know me. I like weird things. I'm weird. Next up, I have a Chainsaw Man shirt. We've got power here. It looks like a comic book 
or a manga strip. I think it's really cool. I love Power. He's my favorite character. I can't wait for the Chainsaw Man movie to come out. I'm wondering if there's going to be drastic changes since they now have their own studio. MAPPA is no longer a studio, so looking forward to see what's to come for this anime. Full Metal Alchemist t-shirt. It's got like red foil design going on here. Let me give you a closer view. See that? Isn't that sick or what? I love this shirt so much. I did watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but now I'm reading the manga. I did get the complete box set of Full Metal Alchemist. I'll leave a link in the description in case you guys haven't seen that I've unboxed it. I'm very slow with reading it because I usually only read right before bed, and so I am up to volume 6. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Moon shirt. Here we have Giorno Giovanni, and here we have Trish Una. And at the bottom we have Bruno Bucarati. Is it Bucarati or Bucarati? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, because I've been saying Bucarati. Actually, no, I've been saying Bucarati, but I kind of go back and forth with the pronunciations. Chainsaw Man, Makima shirt, and block art style. Assuming this. See that? You know, when I watch the anime and I've seen the opening, remember that scene where she feeds Benji a snail? What does that mean? Is there a hidden meaning to that? Is it like symbology or something telling of the story or even her in Junji Ito shirt. Isn't it cool? Honestly, I never read Junji Ito manga, but I've always admired the manga art. There's just something about it, like dark and grungy, creepy, bizarre. Give you a closer view. Ruthless at the top here, and then it's got this demon chick with the split hair dye. Love that. And she has a bandage on her face, some tattoos. We got a broken heart. I think that's a pentagram. And then here is a skull and a sad smiley with X eyes and a face here. And on her shirt it has the anarchy symbol. She's wearing an arm warmer, striped, and it has safety pins. And on the bottom it says, punk's not dead. I really like this a lot. I'm wearing an Attack on Titan shirt. It says, Survey Corpse, dedicate your hearts. And it's got Levi, Eren, Mikasa, Armin, Historia, forgot his name, and Connie. Crap, what was his name? It's not coming to me. This is a really cool shirt. I got it when I was in my Attack on Titan era. This anime will always have a place in my heart though. It's so good. If any of you guys have not seen it, it's definitely worth watching. I have on a Chainsaw Man shirt. It's so cool. I had to get it. It was on sale, so I got it. I have on another Full Metal Alchemist shirt. Armstrong, Winry, Edward, Roy, Alphonse. Neat, huh? Next, I am wearing a Super Mario shirt. It's so cute. It's also cool. It has all these five characters. It's got Mario, Toad, Bowser, Luigi, and Yoshi, and the little stars in the background. I wonder what it says over here at the bottom. I got this around the time when the Mario movie just came out, and so I did wear this shirt when I saw the movie, and that movie is awesome. A dark gray and white tie-dye situation going on, and it has this demon girl. Not sure what that says here. Looks like she has some hair clips. I think that's a cross. It's flames, and she has like some sort of earrings. She's wearing a choker with a star on it. It's so cute. And she has different colored nails. Love to see that. She's wearing handcuffs and she has a bracelet here. It says on the bottom, you're dead. You are D-E-D, -E dead. Looks like a tattoo of a lightning bolt. And she has a bandage here. She's got some sort of skull with horns. You know, the moment I saw the shirt, I had to get it because of how cool it looks. I just love the colors and just overall the style of it. It's definitely right up my alley. Here I am wearing a black and gray tie-dye shirt. And it says here, broken hearts. It's a broken heart right there. She has one horn and she's wearing a top that says go away. Looks like at the bottom she's wearing some sort of fishnet. I don't know if it's top or stockings. She's wearing a spike choker. I just noticed the earrings. She's wearing a cross and she has piercings there, bracelets, and at the bottom it says social club. Again, when I saw the shirt, I had to get it. This is definitely my style. I love the way it looks. Next, I am wearing a Miku shirt. It's like a light blue radio. I guess that's a radio. There she is. She's so cute. 
speaker up here. Oh, I love it. Miku. This is a size small, so it's a little baggy, but I love it. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure t-shirt. It has all the Jo stars from the beginning to the present. You've got Jonathan, Joseph, Jotaro, Josuke, Giorno, and Jolene. This is so cool. I had to get it the moment I saw it. I love JBA. Oh man, it's so hard to pick a favorite Joe star, you know? All of them are so cool in their own ways. Do you have a favorite? Let me know down below in the comments. Curious. Next, I am wearing a Jotaro Kujo shirt. Ora Ora Ora, Stardust Crusaders, Jotaro, and Star Platinum. Very comfy. Here I am wearing this white t-shirt. It has crying anime eyes. A butterfly here, a rose that's being burned. It says here, lonely soul. The bottom here it says broken. I think it looks cute. It's so me, right? This is a black t-shirt with what looks to be like paint stains. They're not really real paint stains, but it makes me think of paint stains. We have Bloomy Bear right here, so cute. And the back has more paint stains. Next, I am wearing a Zombie Makeout Club brand t-shirt. It's got green and black tie-dye going on here. I just don't love you anymore. And I've got this waifu holding a phone. Y2K right here. She looks really cool. The shirt is a little big, but I still love it. Next, I am wearing this t-shirt. It has Aki. It's got like a little manga panel situation going on here. It's so cool. This is when he summons his demon like that. I know I said Power is my favorite character, but I also love him too. This is from my dress up darling. That's Marin, and also Marin. She's cosplaying, so as you can see, there's wigs here. And here's like a little sketch of the cosplay. It's so cute. Marin is like the ultimate waifu. Zombie makeout club shirt. I think this chick looks badass. She looks like a schoolgirl. I'm just guessing because of what she's wearing. See, she has a bandage right there on her face. She's got rings, black nail polish, lipstick. My makeup. This is a Death Note shirt. It's got Ryuk and light. It says Death Note in the front. If you look closely, it's glitter on Ryuk. I think it's really cool. Next, I'm wearing this cropped hoodie. It's by Social Collision. And the zipper has what appears to be a knife, which is awesome. Here it says, you'll never catch me. And look at the sleeves. It says, I'll always be the last one standing. Handprint, knife, girl, horror, bloody bats. Looks like it's the same on this side. It says, fight like a final girl. It's a crop hoodie, but it fits normal on me because I have a short torso. Anything that's cropped isn't exactly flattering because of my short torso, but yeah, I make it work. I only got it because it was on sale and I thought it was really cute, so yeah. And I don't have a lot of hoodies. Zombie Makeout Club. I got it when it was on sale. It has this girl and I don't know what this is about. Inner demons? I don't know. It says here on the sleeve, Zombie Makeout Club. It doesn't have anything on the back. Pullover hoodie. It's got a pocket in the front. I honestly have a love-hate relationship with pullover hoodies. The reason why I love it is because it's so cozy. And the reason why I hate it is because when I get hot, it takes a little bit of work just to remove it. So for that reason, I would prefer a zip up hoodie. Next, I am wearing Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Jotaro pajamas. Honestly, these are for men, but I really love the way they look. So I got it. I paired it with this shirt because it's got to match the theme. Pockets. You can tie it here. And if you look closely, there's a button here for the dudes, if you know what I mean. You know, the business. Anyway, <laughs> these are really comfy. Since I'm short, they touch the floor. Bochita pajamas. Again, these are for men. So paired it with bochita tea. It has pockets here. Of course, it has the button in the front. I'm happy with them. They're comfy and that's all that matters to me. And last but not least, I have this Misa Amane dress. See, it has like the lace arm situation going. These straps are adjustable too. It's so cute. I wore this for my birthday last year. So that will be it for this haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below which ones were your favorite. And if you like these kinds of videos, let me know and I'll do more of them. I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.